Hi, my name is Cameron Kabatting, and I am here in the VEXO workshop, and we're gonna be assembling a cinematic five inch quadcopter. To do this, we're gonna take the Impulse RC Dead Cat Apex. Pairing this frame is going to be a DJI O3 air unit, enough said. To go with the O3 air unit, we're gonna have the Diatone Mamba stack. This is an F7 stack, and it's gonna be running, I believe, a 60 amp ESC stack. This right here is going to be powering four RNC Power Wasp Major motors. These are in the 2206-1860 KV variants, and they're coming in gunmetal gray. They're gonna look really crisp. To polish everything off, I have some blue LED cobs. They're gonna be wrapped around the frame, making everything look nice and minty. Some blue braided cable to polish everything off. Looking forward to doing this build and showing you something new along the way. Let's see, where do we want to get started here? The obvious answer would be to get the frame working, but the best part about this and the thing that I'm most excited about are these motors. Let's go ahead and open them up. We got our files, we got our straps, we got our Velcro, and this is what we're looking for here. We're looking for the arms, the bottom plates. So this is where we're gonna get started with. We have installed the press nuts into the arms as well as the base plate. Now we just need to assemble the arms, connect everything together, make sure to install the key. And then from there, we'll have our completed base plate along with the arms. Now that we have inserted the key, we're going to install the shoulder bolts, attach them to our washers, install them through the arms, and this is going to add to the rigidity of this frame. So this is our DJI O3 air unit. We're gonna be installing it on our frame here now that we have it assembled. We're gonna use the mounting screws that come with the Apex's hardware kit, and we're gonna use that to secure the air unit to the frame. So now this will be attached here and we can start getting ready to attach our other valuable components. So we have installed the camera as well as the VTX onto the frame. And now we are getting ready to mount our ESC and flight controller. The only problem that we have is due to the slammed nature of the Apex frame. These screws that I had to source from Ace Hardware are just a little on the long side. Now they're better than the original screws, which were just too short for our flight stack, but now we're gonna have to find a way to knock these down 4.8 millimeters. Before I use a Dremel, I'm gonna make sure I have my safety glasses and some gloves to protect all the important bits. We have the Dremel 400 here, along with a cutting wheel. Make sure we lock it in place. We're going to go ahead and install our ESC and flight controller. We're just going to take our ESC and flight controller right here. They're already wired together. We're going to start by sliding the ESC on top of the screws, making sure not to mess up our gummies too bad. Slide that down. And we're going to go ahead and take our other gummies here, stick those over the top, and then we'll take our flight controller and mount that right like this. Okay. So we've got our motor here and we've got our motor shoe along with four screws. And we're gonna use all of these and we're gonna mount it to the arms right here. Go ahead and get that process started. 
We have our motor wires here, all three of them. And we're gonna take this braided cable and we're gonna slide it over the top of this. And this is purely just gonna be for an aesthetic choice of mine. I just like blue and gold. So now that we've got the motors installed, we've also have the braided cable and heat shrink installed for all four motors. We've cut our motor wires down to the proper lengths and we can get ready to start soldering these things. So right now I am doing some pre-tinning work here. I am applying solder and flux to these motor pads. So we're now at the step where we need to attach this little capacitor to the electronic speed controller. This will allow the noise, or the electrical interference, to be smoothed out just a little bit. So we're adding heat shrink to the capacitor we just modified a moment ago. The reason why we wanna do this is to ensure that the capacitor doesn't get shorted out. We don't want anything to accidentally touch these two points here because it could cause our drone to get fried. So I'm gonna take this heat shrink, once I find the right diameter stuff, I'm gonna slip it over this, and then I'm going to isolate both components so that they stay isolated. So what I'm working on right now is making sure that this XT60 connector can receive this pairing wire. This is what's gonna allow our drone to be connected to the battery. So now that we have installed the capacitor, the battery wires, and the flight stack, all that we need to do now is mount up the top plate and get our receiver installed so that way we can talk to our vehicle. Okay, so now we're getting ready to plug our drone in to the battery for the first time, but before we do that, we're gonna use a component called a smoke stopper. And what's gonna happen is this is going to allow us to power on the drone without risking it bursting into flames, just in case I've done something wrong. So first what we're gonna do, we are going to plug it in, wait for it to turn orange, and then we're gonna plug it into our drone. Moment of truth. Press the green button. Okay, powering off. It's moving up to two amps. Powering on. And we got it. And the noises that we're hearing right now are basically indicating that our ESC is booting up properly and that it is recognizing a flight controller is in the loop. So when all of these systems are working correctly, we can expect to hear these tones. Those two tones show me that everything is working the way I expect it to. We're now ready to install our LEDs. We're gonna make sure that these cobs are going to be attached to the LED strip on the flight controller. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these cob LEDs and we're gonna run them around our frame so that way our drone will be visible at night. We're making sure that this is going on central to the frame. The cobs went on with no problems. A little exposed, but no problems. We're now gonna test to see if everything's working the way it should. I'm gonna turn it on right now. Oh, and look at that, nice and blue. So we're out here at Mayor Island. We got the quad, got it bound up, got it set up on beta flight. We're ready to take it up for a test flight. Running rotors, three, two, one.